Hey guys, Jim Hoffman here from EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes. This quick Monday Minutes today, um, I wanted to just uh, talk a little bit about a uh, personal information card uh, program that's going on uh, here in New York, but what I want to sort of highlight a little bit is how easy these types of um, you know informational cards can be um, you know given to patients and uh, people in your community to help them uh, d- display information and provide information to you, the provider, uh, police officers, fire, uh, whatever the case may be in an emergency when. They might not really have their medications available. They might not have their identification readily available to them. And it becomes difficult for us as uh, emergency providers to find this information, locate it, uh, make sure it's current or or have even contact information on it to uh, help us out when it comes to identifying patients, their needs, and lets us even provide better patient care. What I want to do is I'm going to just kind of fade away here. I'm going to uh, give you a little uh, video. I'm going to show you this card that's going on up here in New York and, um, you know, give you an idea of what they look like and maybe hopefully may motivate you a little bit to, uh, you know, start the program and just on your own. So let me just uh, fade away and let's take a look at this card. Okay, so this is the program. Again, this is Yellow Dot is the name of the program. Now, when people will get this, it pretty much comes a nice foldable, condensed little deal here. And they will fill out the information on the card, okay? Basically, you've got some of the basic information here, which is their date of birth, their name, things like that, their address, uh, home, uh, phone number okay or even a self cell number then on the inside where all the good juicy stuff is uh, their name again some more cut their other contact information okay contact information of next of kin okay in case of emergency who gets contacted their next of kin here uh, you've got their doctor's names primary physicians names here which could help you in identifying other problems that maybe it might not be as evident um, their preferred hospital even their blood type uh, also, that has the medical conditions right here, and the medications list, and finally their allergies. What's cool I like about this also, which I don't know if maybe you use this where you are or something similar to this, but also has a little spot here to put the patient's picture or the person's picture there. Now this could be very handy. Let's say you have a home and you're not even quite sure if this belongs to the person you're dealing with because they can't respond or they're unresponsive or something like that, um, you have them put their picture here and then you'll know if it's the person that you're taking care of. Okay, great, very, very simple, has the key components of what we need as emergency providers to figure out what is going on with the patient to help us sort of kind of Put the pieces of the puzzle together. If we have patients that are unresponsive and we can't find medications, date of births, nest of kin, um, doctors' names, all that great stuff. Okay, vital information that we need, right, guys? Out in the field, whether you're a police officer, EMS worker, or firefighter, this stuff can be very handy. What they do here, which is a cool element of this, they call it yellow dot, right? It's not just about this. What it is comes with a little sticker. This sticker goes on the door of the home where the person lives or on the car window of the person. And then this goes either inside the freezer of the patient's, inside the patient's home, or it goes in the glove compartment of the car. So this way, providers, when they see this yellow dot, it alerts them that the patient has this filled out, which I think is unique to this program because I've seen things like this before and a lot of times providers aren't aware that the patient has something like this filled out okay um, so they don't really are aware of it unless they know to look uh, let's say in a refrigerator or something like that uh, some of the more popular ones that I've seen where you'll see the information inside the refrigerator and in, inside a prescription bottle or something like that what I like about this and I think this is something that is unique and if you're not using this something similar is an identification symbol and very small not really obtrusive right it can go right on the patient's door or on their car window 
and then you know the provider, you see this, you know there's going to be this with all the great information in it inside their freezer or in their glove compartment so that we can see what's going on with the patient, their name, vital information, and we can take action. So that's pretty cool, guys. Like I said, yellow dot. This is going on here in New York State, um, but I'd love to hear again what you guys are doing where you are. If you have similar, whether it's something like this alone or you have some type of identification symbol to let you know that they have information like this going on. I'm going to fade back to the PowerPoint. So I want to show you the link. so You can go get some more information about this. If you're in New York State, you can get your own and maybe even uh, find out how you can model something in your area after something like this. Okay, let's fade on back and we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, so that is uh, unique to New York, like I said. It's, it's a yellow dot program. Um, it's a new, unique to New York State, but it, you know, maybe where you are, they have something similar, or maybe they're thinking about doing something similar. If not, this type of a program that, that I showed you is very easy to implement. It's a very simple form so that they're going to fill out right um and not really that difficult so i encourage you to seek out to see if they have something like this where you are um if they do i'd love to hear about it in the notes here on the blog or here at youtube um so uh, if you want to get a better look at this card here is the the link where you can go and check out the uh sheriff's area there and uh, you can check out their website and you can see what this is all about. Uh, if you're in the New York State area, you have somebody that might benefit from this card, check out that link through the form on that page you can fill out and they'll have one of these kits sent out to you so you can go ahead and fill it out and have it uh, in your vehicle or, or in your home so that uh, it's there for the emergency uh, providers that might respond to you um, so it's easy to get and I'm sure if you're from another area another state you look you're looking to maybe implement something similar um, you can probably request this on your own or find some uh, a contact link there on the website and I'm sure they'll be able to send you some information on how they're starting this how they're making this uh, uh, succeed here in New York and um, maybe you can implement it where you are again like I said I'd love to hear if you have something similar where you are and uh, let me know you know what maybe what it is that you're using that might be similar that for the patients you're contacting or maybe your police uh, station where you are is doing something similar. Um, of course, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to post them over on the blog, guys. It's at emsofficehours.com. Um, that's it this Monday Minutes, guys. Love to hear your feedback on this and your thoughts, if you think even, if this is something that is beneficial uh, to EMS or even to firefighters or police officers. Love to hear your comments, guys, in the comments below. Uh, that's it for this week, guys. As always, Jim Hoffman. Stay safe.